Welcome back, everybody, to a hot tip, quick tip, short tip, whatever kind of tip you want to call it. It's a tip tip. These little containers. What are these little containers? Thusly described as the glass landscaping container by Senzil. I have no idea if this company is any good or not. Let's check it out. reason I picked these up was because I recently got in some blood vomit, which is an Aerocallin blood vomit. A pretty rare Aerocallin, and it has not gone swimmingly. And uh, it seems to me like the biggest concern that I have is that they're not close enough to the light source. I want to get a lot more light onto these. That seems to be the one thing that is lacking for them to be doing well. I received in some of these cups so that I could add substrate to them, attach them to the wall of my aquarium and get those plants right up close to the light source and hopefully get a lot of light to this plant and hopefully save the few that I have left. Uh, some of them have just melted off and kind of disappeared. I do have a couple left and I wanna save them and keep them going. So I'm going to go ahead and fill these up with some Brightwell substrate, which is a little bit of a finer substrate as compared to the ADA Amazonia or the Fluval Stratum and go ahead and add these plants to them and install them in the walls. It's a pretty simple process to go ahead and fill the container up and install it to the wall. <laughs> I can't imagine anybody doesn't really understand the process here. You put substrate in this container and you stick the suction cups to the wall. The instructions on the box are quite comical. You gotta, you gotta respect the comical nature uh, sometimes of basic translations. The first, install the suction cup on the landscaping cup. Then, sucking the suction cup on the fish tank wall. All right, plain and simple, right? Now, I don't have anything to do with this company that provided these. I actually just had to look around on Amazon until I found a pair of them. They cost about 13 bucks. Seems a little bit ridiculous, but I don't know. I just wanna save this plant and this seems to be the quickest Band-Aid solution that I could come up with to get the plants really close to the lights without trying to move them to another tank or do anything kind of crazy that other ideas that I had, which were just not good ideas. There is an Amazon link that I'll link down below, which by the way, hashtag ad, I guess. I have to tell you that because of the FTC regulation. If you click on it and buy stuff, we do get a kickback. I don't know, I'm supposed to put that in all the time now, I guess, into every video forever for the end of time, but whatever. Either way, I bought these with my own money. It's not a sponsored, but I guess the Amazon portion is a ad or something. I don't know.
this video helped you out, go ahead, subscribe, smush the subscribe, smash the subscribe, do whatever it is that you like to do to the subscribe button, just make sure that it is activated. If you want to financially support this channel, which this is a fan-funded channel, go ahead and click either the blue join button down below or head over to the Patreon page and click buttons over there. I think you guys get and understand how buttons work. Or go ahead and buy some of our merch, I guess. We got merch now, so I'm supposed to talk about it as that's what people tell me that I'm supposed to do is to tell you that there's a merch thing down there. Shirts, stuff, pants. I'm hoping to see somebody rock the pants someday. And I hope that somebody is me. Shrimp pants. Oh, my God. Shrimp pants.